if you have a old Chevy truck from the mid 80s to the 1990s and your your air coming out of your vents is really slow or it stinks or you have funny sounds coming out of the air box there's no uh, cabin air filter on these things so stuff gets right, sucked right into the fan and blown up in here and can clog your uh, ventilation system so this is how to get in there and clean the leaves out now a lot of people will take the, the glove box off and take the computer out the the brains of the truck out to get at this thing but I'm going to show you how to do it without having to remove all that stuff I first you want to disconnect the wires there's a couple of wires up here that run the motor but on some models of truck this thing will just pull right off this rubber cover there's a little hook on the bottom and then you can just pop it out and on other ones unfortunately like this 1995 that I've got there's bolts up here that are really hard to get to there's one here and one here that hold it on on the top um, I'm using a, a little teeny tiny ignition wrench uh, size 9 30 seconds to get the bolts loose all right, so removing the two bolts at the top of this allows me to shift it over to the side, get access to all the bolts that hold the motor on. And then once you've pulled the motor out, you can clean all the crud out of here. And then it, what it does is it sucks things down and blows them up into here, which is where your heater and air conditioner are. So just reach up into there, pull all the, ah! The previous owner must have been in there before me. Pull all the crud out of here and then stick a vacuum cleaner up in here and vacuum clean it out too to get all the little chunks that might be stuck and you can see there's some plastic bits and other things in there that would have impeded my airflow and then put it all together and you're done all right next we're going to clean the heater core in here there's a little spot where you can get your hand in and you can kind of vacuum and brush around a little bit um, but you can also spray a hose in there and it will drain out onto the ground so first what i do to make sure that it actually drains is i take a water bottle and i just squirt a little bit up to the side here and then i look at the bottom of my truck down there and the and you can see it's it's dripped out on the ground so once i know that a little bit has dripped out on the ground then i'm going to go ahead and, and reach in there with some mild detergent and just spray the hell out of it to get some some uh, some cleanser on it then I'm gonna brush it with my toothbrush and then I'm gonna hose it out with the hose all right so towel on the floor and then just aim right up in the side with your hose nozzle and uh, probably don't want to use too much pressure when you're doing it set it kind of low and if you've got a wide spray option on it that's the best thing to get full coverage and then the soapy water is going to run out of the bottom of your truck. If it doesn't run out of the bottom of your truck, then you want to stop spraying because you may have a blockage in the drain hole. All right, here's a look at it. There's an alignment pin up here and then another one over here. So you just shove the, shove the motor back in, plug the vent hose up to the top here, and make sure those pins are aligned and then put your bolts back in and plug your two electrical connectors here and here. I bolt, put this little screw in before I put the, uh, the motor in because all it does is hold an electrical connector. Now in putting this cover back on, um, I've had to modify it a little bit. I cut a slit in it and, and made room for it to go back in where it used to go. And that's because I did this the wrong way, but I did it the easy way. And it's, there's, not, there's nothing pulling down on it while it's in there. so. I figure it's it's gonna sit in there just fine if I just have it hanging by one uh, one bolt on the right side. There she blows. 